Well, it was my first real day back to work today. It's 2.30, so it wasn't too terribly bad. I got everything done I needed to get done, and uh, it went pretty good. But I had some mail on my desk at work, more pretty cards, sympathy cards, and a birthday card, and a couple of little things I'm gonna show you. I know, you're probably tired of show and tell by now. Um, this first one is from Grace, Mrs. BBO. I need to go check out her channel because I, I don't really know her. Thank you very much. And great one, one, three, eight. Is it three, eight? Oh, got it right. That's a beautiful card. It's like three dimensional type stuff. It's cool, it's very pretty. Um, this next one is from uh, Jill and Eva, Lucky uh, Lady Luck, New York, and Shadow six three two six. Pretty. Um, up. UF Gator Jen, thank you, Jen. That was a pretty little card. Like, enough with the cards. Uh, this is from somebody named Elson. What is your name online? It's a pretty card, beautiful card. Um, they said they found me through one of their best friends, and so I, I'd like to know who you are on here. And I got a birthday card, which was funny. It's from, uh, Uh, dang it. I just had it and then I lost it. Uh, I can't remember now. I think it's from Beat. Oh, it. I think that's who it is. But uh, this is in um, with all the naked vlogs going around. So she sent me a card with naked people and cats. Which is kind of funny. I laughed. I'm like, open it up and I'm like, Oh no. On the inside it says, no cake for me please. I seem to have lost my appetite. Happy birthday. So, these people are brave. And here's what I've been doing with the cards. This is the um, scrapbook that was sent to me by Mississippi Diana. And I've been putting, oops, over this way. The cards in here, like here's a page. I'm not really good at scrapbooking. I've just been mainly putting cards on some of the pretty paper. Uh, there's a page. Here's one on a pretty sheet. And so last night I was watching a movie online and doing cards in my scrapbook. So that's what the scrapbook is being used for. I'm gonna put the rest of these in there here momentarily. And I know, it's just not enough, huh? Scacy? I can never remember. I'll just call you Sharon. Um, she did this um, illustration of m wait, me and my mommy. I have brown eyes and mom has blue eyes. So that is really awesome. I'm gonna have to get a frame for this and put it somewhere. I loves it. What size is this? Is this like nine by 13 or something? Um, <clears throat> what else do I have to say? <gasps> Last night, um, my cousins came over. They live about an hour away. They got here about 5.30 and we all went out for dinner. There were 11 of us who went out for dinner. Me and my mom, me and my dad. I'm always just saying me, mom, and dad. Me and dad, uh, my uncle Joan, Aunt Linda, and then my cousin Carmen and her husband Rick and their four kids. Um, who are like 15 and uh, nine and six and I don't know. But we had a good time. And after dinner, we uh, they all went out to my aunt and uncle's house. Dad and I stopped home, got a couple, um, got some brownies and 
the day before my aunt had bought a Boston cream pie over for my birthday which we hadn't cut so we took that out there and Heidi and boy they had Heidi playing all over that living room they had this rubber ball like like a rubber ball rubber ball hard rubber ball and um they had it rolling back and forth and boy she was just playing and playing and playing and when she got home she pooped out she slept good last night she's not used to playing with a bunch of kids but she did really good with them anything else exciting happened yesterday no I talked to Peggy on the phone for a while that was nice who else called yesterday Sometimes my mind blurs on what's going on because my mind's still kind of overwhelmed with all the stuff that's happened. So I go kind of brain dead. My cousin who I'm in business with, I called him today on the phone. I'm like, don't forget you gotta take a toilet out to the horseshoe people for the season. And he's like, I know. And he's like, where are you at? And I'm like, I'm at work. Where are you at? He goes, I'm across the street from where you work, working in a house. I'm like, well, come over here. <laughs> So he came over and brought me some checks and things from for the business and he's supposed to come over here after he's done at the house because there's so much stuff we got to go over. I'm so behind. There are toilets out right now that I have jotted down. I have no information on them on their billing address or anything. It's kind of a mess right now. But you know, I just have to deal with that and kind of get straightened out. And we're at a point right now, we have no toilets to put out. We're kind of, uh, we have everything out that we have. And we're getting kind of scared because we we have toilets to put out and we have no toilets. No, oh, it's funny. In a weird way. But okay. I'm going. See if there's anything else here I forgot to tell you about. I guess that's all. I came home to an empty house. No dad, no dog. Or somewhere. Bye-bye, everybody.